HBCUs. Why does the movement stop just because he left? HBCUs gonna You're still be missing here. the point. No. The <laughs> yeah. I need to clip that. I need to clip that. Oh, you're missing the point. This was about the survival of the HBCU, it's than Dion, especially though, Dr. no, yes, no, it is. no. We stop trying you to. You're blaming stop an individual. To, no, you're stop trying to give celebrities no, a pass, no, Charlamagne. No, you're blaming an individual. I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming black men for not being men. But you know what? I'm that, blaming us listen, for not being men. That was an can, unmanly can, move. Can you admit one thing? Dion could have went down are, in history, are H, brother. Are HBCUs chronically underfunded. Of course. Were they chronically underfunded before Dion? Yes. Yes. Were they be chronically underfunded after Dion? Yes. Absolutely. What are those reasons that they're chronically underfunded? We don't because we as black men have not come together to create the funding source to make sure they survive. I don't want to hear about the government. We have too no, many that's, wealthy that, blacks. That's one, exactly. Y'all interview them I, every I, listen, day. I'm with you. So so you got you got low uh don't do, low donor low donor alumni donors. low alumni donors okay right, right? Okay. low endowments correct that's a us problem. He part of us. Why you keep exempting celebrities? One They're not better than us. He's one person. Okay, but the point is that one man could have been a catalyst for a movement that would have revolutionized the what? survival Bo of a Boot, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Boot, no, you're definitely man. right on this one. Yeah. On the money. Yeah, man. This is this is why is he he's doubling down as well. Tripling down, <laughs> quadrupling down. It's like, it doesn't want to hear. It's not reasoning at all. No. But I think Charlemagne has a point. He's not, it, it was, it was bad before him. And if it's not bad, if it's underfunded before him and it's underfunded after, how can one man just, change everything this is like the the you're trying to make him like a savior which he cannot do by his own let's say yeah. so i think that's why so that's why it's important we're going to do that in a bit in the show guys uh, oh by the way guys thank you uh for following us uh, thank you to boot tribe especially for contributing to the conversation please Guys, like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. It really helps us with the algorithm. Uh, but just to, to, to answer your question or to react on what you just said, that's why it's important, and we're going to do it in a bit, to just to see what Dion actually said and promised. Mm -hmm. Because um, you can get pushed into the savior role or you can put yourself in the savior role. Let's say, for example, if I tell, if I see someone who's hungry and I tell I'll tell you don't worry as long as as long as uh, we're friends I got you and then two weeks later I'm like yeah I ain't got no money man I can't buy, I, I can't buy I, I can't buy anything this uh, this week it's gonna be it's you know I, I put myself in the savior role but the other way someone can put um, so I so in that, that example I put myself in the savior role but you can um, it, it can be the other way around as well. I give someone bread once who's hungry and he's like, okay, oh, without you, I'm, I'm nothing. I, you know, and yeah, then making you the savior. Yeah. So let's see who made who the savior. You. Yeah. So the Dion made himself or, or yeah, made himself the savior or did he let people, let people to believe that he's a savior or did people actually put him in that? Uh, or g gave him that, that status. We're gonna, but we're gonna discuss it later on in the show. Did he teach them how to fish, or did he keep feeding them? Did he even eat fish? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just liking this new setup. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, let's continue. Why, why does the movement stop just because he left? HBCUs gonna still be You're missing here. the point. No. HBCU. <laughs> yeah. I need to clip that. I need to clip that. Oh, you're missing the point. This oh, wasn't here. just about Frederick Douglass. But if Frederick Douglass would have pulled out, it would have hurt it. The Underground Railroad wasn't just about Harriet. But if she would have pulled out, it would have failed. So what was the, the civil HBCU rights movement, movement wasn't just Dion. about King? Before Dion three years ago, what was they were struggling, movement? and he could have helped save it. 
And for him to pull out of Jackson State the way that he did it before making sure the HBCU system survived, to me was selfish. He chose money over the movement, Charlemagne, and celebrities do it all the time. Okay, I think for now this is enough. Yeah, we got the point. We got the point. So we will continue with Dion. So so Dion was hired about three years ago, two years ago, at Jackson State. And he called by, it... By the way, Kara, sorry to interrupt you. Do you know how many schools are, are categorized as HBCUs? That's a good question. I. It's because about, because I'm, I'm asking because um, about one hundred, I think, right? Yeah, one hundred and seven at this moment. Yes. So it's I'm like I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> so it's like so it's like you're saying so he's so according to Dr. Omar Johnson, Dion was wrong to leave before um, before one hundred and seven. Yeah. Before um, making sure that the HBCU, I, I forgot the words, the, 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 the formulation he used, but basically he, he left too early because the right way to um, do it would have been to wait until the HBCU system is strong enough to survive without him. We're talking about 107 schools, but Tribe says 106 schools. So if we're talking about over 100, 100 schools. You're telling me that one man, so so this person <laughs> took a job and as a reward, you're making him responsible for the whole over, system. Uh, yeah, that's, it doesn't he, make, he took a job, job as a coach. coach. What did you say? He took a job as a coach. As a coach, yeah, exactly. Then it's, yeah, as a as a football coach. Now he's putting him responsible for the whole HBCU system. Doesn't make any sense. I also see that Boot Tribe also shared how many uh, players are leaving GSU for Colorado. Oh, yeah. So 10 players leaving GSU for Colorado. Uh, that's a transfer portal. Yeah, we, we I don't know if you were here, Boot Tribe, when we discussed, uh, we talked about the, the video or we showed the video where Dion um, told his team that he was leaving. So his players that he was leaving. And he indeed talked, he, he said, so it was just a general meeting. And afterwards he said, uh, but I want to talk to certain of you uh, individually, referring to amongst other things, the transfer transfer portal. But so you're saying that 10 players will be leaving uh, GSU for Colorado. That's a good, opportuni uh, good opportunity for these players as well. And that's a bad one for those at Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> hey. But don't tell Dr. Umar though. 